guys, it's me. Today I thought I'd do a bit of a different video for you. I, a while back, got requested to do a what's in my bag. And at the time I was like, mm, I'm still using my bag and I have swapped and changed bags since. But today I'm swapping my handbag again. So I thought rather than just swapping it like that, I thought I would do a little video for you. because it's a good way of emptying one handbag and filling the next. Jesus. The bag I'm changing to, just so you can quickly see, is going to be this little tan leather, <laughs> not so little, but you know what I mean, is going to be this tan leather bag here. It's by a no-name brand, I just got it for a fiver off the market near where I live. But it's got the tassels here, a couple of little handles. It does have the shoulder strap detached as well, which I don't tend to use. And then on the inside, you've just got the phone pocket case, a zip up pocket and then a big space in the middle to put all your crap and bus tickets on oh, zip at the back for your keys. So but that's what I'm changing it to. The bag that I've got at the moment is rather heavy so I shan't be putting as much from this bag into that one but it looks like this and it's by a company called Cavaro. I picked this bag up from TK Maxx a few years back so I've used this a lot and as you can see it's got quite a bit in it as well so let's get started I've popped on my knee now I will tell you I have not <coughs> emptied this bag I've not put anything else extra in here apart from my mobile phone because when I go out I do put my phone in my bag obviously so that being said we'll start off with my mobile I have the iPhone 4s and I have this little Neo case covering it in purple and white and I like it because it protects my screen and also comes with, I can get my fingers in, little pockets and little pockets here to put cards in and stuff. So, and it's just really handy for protecting my phone because it's like a hard case as well. So, happy with that one. And that was only cheap off the market as well. So, bonus. Right, delving in, first thing I come across is my notebook. I put in here my work hours, and at the back, I put in little ideas and websites and stuff like that. It's like, um, if you subscribe to Helen Mellon Lady, she actually has a 20% discount code from uh, for Motel Rocks, which I actually wrote down because my daughter likes motel dresses. So. But that's what I use that for. What else? I have my sunglasses case. This is a very old Betsy Johnson case. I don't own a pair of Betsy Johnson sunglasses. I own a pair of I Came Free With A Magazine sunglasses. They don't have any name brand on them, but I call these my Audrey Hepburns. And as you can see, nice and big to protect my eyes from the sun when it decides it wants to come out. Which yesterday was beautiful and today it's a little overcast, so hey ho! But that's those. You'll find I have a lot of bags in my bag. What's the next thing I see? Next thing I see is my Tangle Attack hairbrush. Looks like this. I love this thing. Because it's got the cover on it, I can put my hands in my bag and I don't stab myself with a hairbrush, so... And it's exactly the same as a Tangle teaser, works the same and everything, it's absolutely brilliant. Next up is Missed You Madly by Soap and Glory. But it doesn't have Missed You Madly in here anymore, that run out an age ago. What I do now is I use this as an atomizer. I put a few squirts of my favourite perfume in here. The one I'm using at the moment is this one called Mrs Dollar. Miss Dollar, which smells amazing. It is a dupe for another another perfume, and I can't remember what it's the dupe for. But I put a few squirts of that in, top it up with water, and it just sees me through for the day. So there's a good tip for you ladies. What else have we got? Oh, here we go. A bank receipt. I'll put that that side, that can go in the bin now. Uh, anything else in the little pockets? Nope, that's it for one side. In the other side I have my purse. This is a Susie Smith purse and I got this from TK Maxx as well. Absolutely love it. It's got perfect pockets. It's hard, got no money in whatsoever but I've got space for my bank cards and stuff like that. Love it. It's nice and big so I can find it in my handbag. Next up I have this little case and this one holds my e-cigarette and Two little e liquids. What have I got in here today? I have my favourite, which is Nuke Plusion. Love that. It tastes like aniseed. Or oh, for us more grown ups, Perno. 
and this one is a fruit punch and the e-cig I'm using at the moment is the Evard yeah the Kanga Evard absolutely love this if anybody would like me to do a review on e-cigarettes and e-cig liquids then pop it in the comments down below and I shall do that for you because I've got three or four and also my partner James has got two or three so if you want to see a review on that then let me know but this case only came from Poundland but because it's a plasticky type sort of PVC case if there is any leak of the liquids it's all contained in there so that's a bonus I have my diary which holds every bit of information as you can see I don't go back and show you this without showing you what's in my diary but I fold all the ends over for each month when each week when I get to it so keeps me up to date this one is I think it came came from a news agent somewhere but it's just a diary what else I have my card case now us ladies excuse me itchy eye we always get loads of loyalty cards and stuff like that so I found this in TK Maxx and I absolutely love it it holds all of my non everyday cards so I have like Born Pretty store card here I've got Nando's loyalties Costa Coffee Subway Superdrug House of Fraser Go Outdoors there's my Oyster card for when I go to London Bike card which is really good to get discount for food in certain restaurants I've got a Tradex card. Now Tradex don't actually exist anymore. I think I might be using that one for my stamping. Uh, I've got 50, I've got money off vouchers, I've got loads of different cards in here and then I've got my coffee ones there. So that's handy. And what's this one? Oh that's an all day adult day out ticket for the buses. Me and my daughter went to Lincoln. Rubbish. Put that that side. I've got a pen. Pen. <coughs> Candrel. Sugar. Got it from McDonald's. Oh, come on, you do it. You know you do. I've got some McDonald's salt. Some more Candrel. I don't even have sweetener. And what's this one? Oh, a couple of tickets for the... Um, arcades where you collect tokens got two of those they're not getting thrown they actually should go in my hand but in my purse another pen just in case I couldn't find the other one I have an unchecked lottery ticket didn't win the numbers haven't checked the raffle I might be rich another bank ticket some more sugar told you I hadn't checked it okay an actual product this is handmade by Soap and Glory this is the anti back gel love this stuff I would not be without an anti back gel in my handbag at any one point in time and this one smells really really nice so there we go natural product what else is in here <clears throat> another bank receipt more rubbish more sugar <laughs> I've got a thing for sugar salt oh this is perfume this is just one from the market again but it's a really nice scented one and it's called Story of Rose. Here we go. And it's got a very nice sort of fresh smell to it. Very floral, but I really like it. And I've got a hair in front of my face that's really annoying me. Guess who's not editing this one, Gemma? <laughs> what else have we got? I'm delving. Ooh, I feel money. Wow, I'm rich. Two pence. What else? I have a sticky piece of rubbish. That's it for that bit. What we've got in here? Oh, my inhaler. I think everybody knows why we need that. Um, then in the, if I just show you, that's that side empty, and this handbag has like a little pocket in the middle. Look, you see that? And that's that side there empty now. I'm now going to go into the little pocket and in here I have a little fan which my daughter brought me back from Tenerife but 
it's lovely for when you sat outside on a nice warm day. Always bonus. I have a hair clip, just to tie my hair back when I need to. Spare phone charger. And my vlogging camera. And this is the Olympus HD, and I couldn't tell you anything more about it because James bought it from Afghanistan. But that's what that looks like. It's what I use when I'm vlogging, when I go down to the beach and stuff like that. This is the only camera I will edit with Gemma. <laughs> but that's that one. I don't think there's anything else in this little pocket. Nope. So we'll turn the bag around. I've got a little zip-up pocket just here. And in here, I'm going to move that stuff aside a little bit because there's a lot of stuff in here. I have a little Radley mirror, which looks like that. Perfect for putting makeup on. I have some Kleenex blotting sheets. These are brilliant. If you're out and about and you just feel a touch oily, just take out one of these and you just literally blot it onto your skin and then you get to see how gross you look on the other side, but it really works well, so. What else have we got? Yeah, these are the weird bits. I've got <laughs> non-adherent dressing, an alcohol prep pad and a gauze swab. Don't ask me why, they're just there. I think James gave me them absolutely ages ago when we was in a hotel and they've just sort of followed me around. I have little bags for putting sanitary protection in for us ladies. And a wayward one. I'll just show you, look, they're just like little mini baby bin bags, but I find them very helpful because not all public toilets have that facility. Plasters. Little bag of hand wet wipes, handy wet wipes. These are brilliant if you're going places and you just need to freshen up, absolutely brilliant. Always have a pack of those in my bag. I've got a vanilla scented lip gloss that I bought ages ago from the Vaughn Pretty store. I think it's from a company called girl to go Just looks like that, but it's gorgeously vanilla scented. It's absolutely brilliant. It's got no colour to it whatsoever. It's just a lip balm. Another perfume. This is Next Paradise. And this one's got a lovely sort of florally smell again. But it's not as strong, it's more of a muted scent. Not quite sure why I've got two. What else is in here? I've got the, I've hauled this the other week. This is the um, Rimmel Stay Glossy Lip Gloss. Always keep that in my bag now. And eyeliner. This is the MUA Black Glitter one. Another eyeliner. <laughs> this is the one I got from my birch box actually. This is the Lord and Berry one. I did wonder where that had gone. So now I know. I have the gold eyeliner that I hauled the other day as well. I keep that in my bag so if I'm going from day to night I've got that. Baby nail file. And another perfume. Yay! This is actually English Laundry. Came with my birch box. Saying, I must have just bung that in at the same time. And then last in this little pocket is my passport. You want to see my picture? Do you want to see my picture? There we go. That's what you see. I'm going to put that back in there. Put that there. And I think that's everything for that. Yep. Now for this tiny little pocket at the back here. And that'll be it. It's the last pocket. It's not as much rubbish as I thought there was going to be. <laughs> Over here I have my little packet of mints. I like to have mints in my bag because when I'm going to work, because I'm a smoker as well as an e-cigar. I'm in the half and half between smoking and vaping. I like to have a mint. There's a little hole just there. But I like to have a mint just before I go to work, just to freshen my breath so that people at work don't smell my smoke. I have my little key purse, which is also a Radley. The keys just hang off like that. And they're supposed to be in there like that. Handy little thing, that. And what else? Gas card. And more extra strong mints. These are really, 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 really strong. I 
think that's it. Hang on. Feels like there's something there though. Oh, what is that? I can feel a pair of tweezers. Have I got a hole in my bag? Or have I just missed something? I have a hole in my bag somewhere because I can feel a pair of tweezers. <laughs> ah. Tiny little hole just there. Oh no. I have a pair of tweezers in the bottom of my handbag. Look. We can make them out. I'm gonna go digging and put everything back in my other handbag. Oh dear, but it's proof that there is nothing but a pair of hidden tweezers in my bag. There we go, look at that, look. <laughs> right, that's enough of that. Thank you ever so much for watching. I would love to see what you have in your handbag and if you're as disorganised as what I am. Although I'm going to attempt to be organised now. Anyway, I'm now going to get rid of all of the sugars and the salts and reduce the amount of perfumes I have in my handbag because that might actually reduce the weight a little bit and go and fish out my pair of tweezers that are in my bag because I'm almost certain that they're either my China doll ones or the Hello Kitty ones that Gemma's just got me, so definitely fishing them out. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. I would love to see your What's In My Bag videos and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe and come back to see me soon. Bye!